myself Dr. Rashmi Chaudhary. I am the consultant obstetrician and gynecologist working with the Cloud9 group of institutions. PCOD adversely affects fertility. It is a state of oligo or an ovulation. That means these patients they ovulate very infrequently or they ovulate less or they don't ovulate at all. Actually in PCOD the patient they have normal uterus, tubes and ovaries but their ovaries are dysfunctional. This dysfunctional ovary is because of the deranged level of the reproductive hormones like estrogen, progesterone, the high level of the luteinizing hormones as well as the high level of the male hormone that is a testosterone. In these patients there is a state of hyperinsulinemia which leads to high level of androgen as well as these patients have chronically high level of luteinizing hormone which is high from the beginning of the menstrual cycle as well as the follicle stimulating hormone is low. Since these patients have chronically high level of luteinizing hormones and there is no LH surge in these patients in the middle of the month so these patients they don't ovulate. Actually what happens that in a normal woman who has a normal menstrual cycles and all they have like in the beginning of the menstrual cycle their follicle starts maturing from the beginning of the menstrual cycle under the effect of the follicle stimulating hormone on the luteinizing hormones in the middle of the month there is a sudden rise in the luteinizing hormone which we call it as a LH surge and about 24 to 36 hours after the LH surge ovulation happens and it releases a mature egg but in case of PCOS patients there is no LH surge as well as there is a high level of LH and very low level of FSH hormone. So they have large number of antral follicles in their ovaries which has an egg within but these follicles they don't show maturation and since they show, don't show maturation and there is no LH surge so there is no ovulation as well as it results in no fertility and no reproduction.